So one of the big reasons why I looked into this paper making is because um, I was really interested in recycling. I just really wanted to, I've been doing a lot of painting and sculpture my whole life. And um, I recently, my most recent work has been um, like hanging wall sculptures, some of them shelved with, um, so I build a wooden frame, cover it in canvas, and then I was using plaster and pasto to, um, to paint. So like thick paint on them, you know, he like it gets heavy, but it got to the point where I was like, all of these, like I made the frames out of recycled timber. Um, the canvas was new, which was, um, and then the plaster was obviously bought, you know, from render, but I was like, oh, it's gotta be a way of doing this without like, you know, buying all this stuff from Bunnings or China or wherever, India, wherever it comes from. Um, so I was like, I'll just, I'll just make it out of paper. This, I've been making costumes and everything out of paper with workshops, classes everywhere for ages. And I just thought there's an abundance of it. It's super malleable, super easy to use. And I just started reading into it and um, reading and reading figured out that you can just get, grab it off the street from the bin, grab any piece of paper that you use in your house, cook it, blend it, and mix it with some flour and you've got a, a clay. You've got air drying clay. <laughs> and it's so obvious, you can, you can find a process, you know, you can, that, that helps you and helps other people, um, helps the environment, helps animals, helps, so there's so many different reasons why you make it, you know. So, and this one for me is the environment. <laughs> I want to figure out a process and show people how to make something out of garbage. And it's, you know, easy, not toxic, and sloppy and fun. <laughs>